they're underfed. They're hungry, their life slowly wasting away because they haven't got enough food. Hello, I'm Sally Struthers. For just 50 cents a day, the price of an apple fritter, you can help feed someone who can't afford to feed himself. The meals are free, they're nourishing, and best of all, they're pretty darn tasty. Are you going to finish this? Your donation to the Feed the Planet Foundation is totally tax deductible. Just think of it. You're reaching out and you're giving these people hope. And biscuits, I love biscuits. Please send your donation today. Just remember, $15 a month the price of a Grand Slam breakfast and 10 duck bars. You can give these people the sustenance that they know so desperately need. Please try to hurry, though. I've been here for six months, and these people just seem to be getting hungrier and hungrier. We can't understand this. Don't you reach out and touch them? Remember, for just $180 a year, the price of a... Twelve buckets of chicken and a super big gulp, Dr. Pepper. You can give these people something and just go five by five feed me. Give it to me. <laughs> Another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent, for pros and sisters with twisters. For you, the looking listener, it seems you don't believe, so you believe what I can bitch you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. With jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill. This show got soul all aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up, couple up, or the double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living in living color. Frankly, Reverend, I don't believe a word you've said here today. And furthermore, your so-called church's fundraising methods are immoral, if not illegal. And I assure you, this Senate panel will not rest until we put every last one of you shysters in jail. Now, uh, you please call the next witnesses. Well, look to heaven, huh? See you Sunday, Reverend. Well, I feel love. It's England. Remain standing and uh, hold up your right hand, please. Do you uh, solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth so help you, God? So help me, my God. <laughs> now let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Hallelujah for those who wear fig leaves uh, should not dance with hungry goats. <laughs> Amen. State your names for the records. My name is the Reverend Ed Cash. Dollar bills, no food stamps, please. And I'm the Reverend Dr. Carl Pathos, uh, this ministry's spiritual gynecologist. Now, would you uh, please tell us the name of your church? Uh, that would be the First Church of Discount Sin. Yes, Lord, as of now, we have six locations throughout the greater metropolitan area. The Lord is slashing prices and all sin must go. Just dial 1 800 cent a lot for the franchise nearest you. Uh, we even have a drive through window. Can I take your order, Reverend? Yes, I'd like some forgiveness, please. Would you like a hot apple pie with that? Duh. Yes, and I'll have a Moses McMuffin, too. Drive around. Gentlemen. Are you actually charging people a fee to forgive their sins? We prefer 
like to call it a donation. Praise be, uh, for he who giveth shall be without sin for 90 days or your money back. <laughs> I think somebody been sipping on the holy water. Reverend Cash, uh, it says here that you don't earn a dime. How do you, uh, how do you explain your extravagant lifestyle? Extravagant? Hmm. You call this Rolex extravagant? This is the bottom of the line. No, you got it all wrong. See, what I do is operate a trust fund for the Lord. That's right, for the big guy. See, he's the one with all the money. That's right, he tell me what to do with it. If it was me, I'd invest it. There's a couple of junk bonds I got my eye on, but what can I tell the Lord? If the Lord want to buy a big hat with a feather in it, what am I supposed to say? No, Lord, you can't have it. The Lord seen Sheriff. Stick it in and call it macaroni, that's what I'd say. And if he want a house, 300 square feet, what am I going to say? No, Lord, you can't have it on your earth? The Lord uses that jacuzzi in mysterious ways. <laughs> and it's time for the Lord to clean it out. Excuse me, uh, Reverend Pathos. Yes? How do you explain these expenditures? $200 to the Wild Weasel Dance Club. <laughs> well, one must know evil before he can uh, condemn it. Uh... <laughs> What about $400 to Rondell's strip ogram? One must see evil before he can denounce it. And what about $900 to the Red Rooster Escort Service? <laughs> it is all around us, friends. Uh, and how are we not to be distracted when we know that somewhere, somehow, breasts are being augmented? <laughs> When I was a young man, I said to myself, Reverend Pathos, you will not be driven to wine, women, or sugary foods, and I could use AA and a good dentist right now. <laughs> I'm sinned against you. Uh, look, we also show expenditures here for a company jet. Now, how do you explain that? Well, see, that simply allows us to get to the higher power. That's right. See, the Lord don't always want to come down to you. You think you can just bow your head and he show up all the time? It's a long well, Sometimes he say, come on up to my place. That's right. <laughs> what, what about these taxes? You haven't paid any in seven years. Well, that... Oh, hold on. Oh. Hello? It's the Lord. Yes, Lord? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I said. Who am I to say? Uh-huh. I ain't never heard you speak like that, Lord. Well, I have to speak to him in tongues. He's very upset. It a bit, little bit, no, no, but they won't listen to me. No, 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 can anyone explain what he is saying? He said he's speaking in tongues, and speaking of tongues... say a prayer for you to for forgiveness because the Lord is pissed off. Say it. <laughs> Bow your head, please. Lord, please forgive these senators for getting all in your business, <laughs> treating you like some common criminal and trying to make you look bad in front of all these people. Oh, yes. And Lord, we know that you don't like to go low, but you will if you have to. You will stoop. You can stoop just as low as them and show these here pictures we have of the senator with these different women. We have seen the light of the holy dark fruit, Lord. Lord, this ain't the only shot you got. Because you got all kinds of shots. I hope it ain't upside down. Lord, please forgive them. Forgive them, And let them, them Lord. know that the way through forgiveness is by giving. Amen. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think we have seen a miracle, and this miracle is forgiveness. Yes, yes, that's right. The Lord will extend his forgiveness. Yes, he will. But he ain't going to do it for free. No. <laughs> In order to be forgiven, you must go to the root of the word, which is give. give for it. give. Give a give. it up. <laughs> Reverend Kate, I think this deserves a song. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> You got to reach right out and 
love each other. Never push or shove another unless you're angered by something that they've said and then feel free to kick them till they're dead. Shoulder noses where you close Oh, kick them till they're dead. for that magic massage but look here don't get me too relaxed i want to save some for later if you know what i mean yes i know just what you mean lover boy but fortunately i can't do you today i have a girl filling in for me is she fine like you let me just say this uh her look is one you will not forget i think you should get to know her hey send her right in i love breaking in new talent <laughs> wanda he's all yours You waiting on your masseuse, huh? <sighs> well, actually, I was waiting for a beautiful woman to come walking into my life, and I guess from the look of things, my wish has come true. Hey, word up. <laughs> tell me something good. Hey, that's my song. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me that you love me. Ooh, ooh. Beautiful. Hey. Sing it, girl. Girl, shoot. Who you call them beautiful? Shoot. Beautiful ain't even a word for me. They ain't even got no word to describe how beautiful I am. I hear that. See, I like it because you ain't shy. If you fine, you just accept it. Is that right, baby? That's what I'm saying. For real, though. For real, though. I heard that. For real, though, because if you got the butter, you might as well spread it. Sure. I heard that. So tell me, baby. Um, would you say you look like Whitney Houston or uh, Paula Abdul? Well, since I'm a natural blonde and stuff, people always say I look like a black Vanna White. Vanna White, huh? Mm -hmm. For real, though. Well, I would hope I get to get that free spin later on. And you never know, I might flip your letters, too. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But see... You're trying to give me all them compliments because you're trying to get in good and stuff. You just need to just just lay back and relax and let me concentrate on what I'm doing because, see, I'm going to let my fingers do the walking and I'm going to let your body do the talking. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, you like see, I got that? a lot of tension in my lower body, so I'm going to need a little extra attention back there, my brown sugar. Oh. <laughs> well, just ask and you shall receive, you shall. <laughs> See, but let me show you something. No, let me show you something. Because, see, this is a trick that I learned from my cousin and them. It's like a Chinese foot massage. Mm -hmm. so, hold on, I told you. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, girl. 
No, but see, this is something I learned, you know. And what I do is, I don't, I don't want to like scratch you or nothing. You gonna be all right? Girl, you ain't got to worry about that. Be as rough as you want. I'm a man, right? Man, girl. That's all right. Girl, you even smell good. What do you got on poison? Oh, no, that's Desinex. Oh. Did I hurt you? No, I got. Oh, I just Lord. got a lot of tension right up in here. Oh baby. yeah, you do. You got a big yeah. knot right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. But see, I can get that out. You know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use the Mr. Miyagi method. Oh, that they did on Karate Kid. Uh -huh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. See right uh. there? Uh. Now don't that hurt so good? Oh. Oh, this is heaven. Just call me the Messiah. Mm, 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 mm. Well, look here, let me turn around and see my angel, cuz. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You see your angel as soon as you get to heaven. You in a hurry. You're too fast. Mm. Sure. <laughs> You're too fast. Well, good looking, let me ask you this. Uh huh. How about if I called you tonight? Hey, okay then. I'll take you somewhere we can get wine. For real, though. Good old. And the whole nine yards. Oh. Well, shoot, you talking the kind of stuff I like? Let's go. Let's go. I want to see my angel hey. float. Hey, that's my song. Float on. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, guys. You're so tense. You're so tense. You need somebody to console you. Just let me hey, tell you. Hey, 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 hey. You don't even know me. You don't even know me. Hey, look, I ain't got to know you, all right? I ain't got to use the ones sitting over there talking about you gonna take me to wine and dinner and lunch and all that kind of stuff. And you got me excited. I'm just ready to go. <laughs> but read my lips, all right? I don't want you. Will you read my lips? Uh -oh. I got you. <laughs> and I am ready to go. <laughs> now, don't make me get ugly. Uh -oh. Honey, I think we're about an hour past ugly. <laughs> I'm not. See, I can get ugly. See, I'll bust your black, narrow ass. <laughs> now, you fool with me. Come on, fool with me. I got a poke chop. I got a poke chop in my gym bag. No, you got to take me out to dinner. I don't want no poke uh, chop in your... Excuse me, did you need some time? No, girl, what you need to do is get you some business. Your own business? Because you are in mine. You all in my Kool-Aid don't even love the flavor. What are you doing? <laughs> See what you're making me do? I'm sorry. Stop. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. <laughs> you didn't interrupt nothing. He was just trying to get some. Mm. And see, he got mad. Because I wouldn't give it up to him, so he just got mad and left. Mm -hmm. That sounds just like him. Sure is. You know, I be trying to, you know, keep my stuff sacred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to check you later, all right? All right. Because he know. <laughs> you know, I would have rocked this world. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed y'all evening. I got to get out of here. I'm live on Rock next. David. <laughs>